the video RCF sent me. This video will come. Child celebrities who had terrible lives now. Cover six child stars who had a terrible life after fame. And we're going to begin I think by talking about already know. Jake Lloyd, who played Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Jake was chosen to play Anakin for 3,000 potential candidates and would perform so well in the billion dollar movie that he won the best performance in a feature film for an actor under the age of 10. Crazy. While this might have implied that Jake had a promising film career ahead of him, he'd appear in only one more movie after Star Wars before announcing his acting retirement at the age of 12, explaining that he was bullied heavily as a result of the role. My entire school life was really a living hell and I had to do up to 60 interviews a day. Other children were really mean to me. They would make the sound of the lightsaber every time they saw me with this kind of harassment e Yo. What was that Josh man? <laughs> Even continuing into Jake's high school and college experience. You know how they can be in high school. They're so... Man, look, bro. How I see it is, bro, you an actor. You made more money than these kids ever could. You know what I'm saying? At the age of eight or whatever, how old he was during when he made a movie, bro. Come on, bro. So charming and intelligent. College has been similar. They wouldn't let it go. In other interviews, Jake had been warned about the common path taken by child celebrities. Child stars have had a bit of a, a reputation that they turn to, you know, a life of drugs. So may the force be with you. Oh, well, thank you. Yet this advice. Just go to homeschool, bro. No rich behind, probably could do homeschool. Just go homeschool, bro. You're simple, bro. I seem to have no impact as his life began to go downhill oh, beginning dear. in 2015. Jake Lloyd has schizophrenia, stopped taking his medication really? and attacked his mother. Indianapolis police were called to the home of Lloyd's mother, Lisa. She said the 26 year old showed up and yelled at her saying she ruined his life. Lloyd allegedly knocked her down when she wouldn't let him in Damn. the house and stomped her three or four times causing bruises and abrasions. He was gone by the time the police showed up and she didn't press charges. Only three little. months later, Jake Lloyd found himself in a high speed. I agree with you, but chill. Speed police chase, after which he'd be arrested for reckless driving, driving without a license, and resisting arrest, resulting in 10 months jail time in a psychiatric facility. Oh, yeah. Two years after this, Jake's 26 year old sister, Madison, died unexpectedly in her sleep, prompting wow. the mother to release a statement regarding Jake's well being. Wow. Jake has been diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, but unfortunately, he also has a symptom called anosognosia, which causes a lack of insight into his illness. This only adds to the struggle he faces which has been very difficult after the tragic loss of his younger sister, Madison. Damn. He has moved closer to his family and we are all working hard to help him with this. He is still a kind and caring person and we hope to have him back to his fun and entertaining self as soon as possible. Jake will continue to make progress with the love and support you continue to show, which is promising when compared to the life of Edward wow. Furlong. After playing John Connor in The Terminator 2, Furlong began to mess with drugs, stating, Hollywood F me up, man. Lots Jeez, of money and lots of free coke turn anybody into a cokehead, with this addiction resulting in his first arrest for driving under the influence without a license. Furlong attended rehab as a result of the incident and was able to stay sober for a number of years. However, by 2009 at the age of 32, he was back in the news for punching his girlfriend whilst on drugs. Three years later, Furlong was arrested again, this time for domestic abuse against his new girlfriend, resulting in a further six months in prison where he'd pick Only up a meth months. addiction. Although this story actually has somewhat of a happy ending. In July 2022, Furlong he announced that he had okay. gotten his teeth fixed, was taking better care of himself, and had been sober for over four years. That's good. I'm much happier now, man. I mean, it feels so good That's to good. Uh, at least be doing the best. Year. It was fire, Although but you don't have to prepare the chicken ending has been unavailable to Drake. This is probably one of the few ones I know about. Drake Bell, man. It's crazy. Bell, whose life has only gotten worse every single year since he starred in Drake and Josh. In 2014, approximately seven years after the show came to one of the greatest Nickelodeon shows ever. One of the greatest. To an end, Drake Bell announced that he was filing for bankruptcy, causing a foreclosure on his $2 million mansion. One year later in 2015, he'd be jailed for four days as a result of driving under the influence. However, the real drama didn't begin until mid-2020 when his ex-girlfriend would upload a video on TikTok making some pretty severe accusations. Wow. Imagine the worst type of verbal abuse you could ever imagine, and that was what I got. It then turned into physical. 
hitting, throwing, everything. Um, at the pinnacle of it, he drug me down the stairs of our house in Los Feliz. My face hit every step on the way Damn. down. Drake Bell would defend himself by stating, I never abused my ex-girlfriend or did so many of the other things Melissa falsely claimed on her TikTok video. Unfortunately, we both called each other terrible names, as often happens when couples are breaking up, but that is it. Mm. Although this response most certainly didn't put an end to the drama, as there was even bigger trouble just around the corner. An article titled Drake Bell's alleged Yep victim accuses him of apparently so grooming explained that he was embroiled in a legal battle for engaging in a relationship with a 15 year old girl back in 2017. I remember that. Things became even worse when footage of the trial was uploaded to YouTube. Party plea to count two disseminating matter harmful to juveniles first degree misdemeanor. Guilty. Let the record reflect defendant has pled guilty. The court accepts that plea. And while he would plead guilty to child endangerment Drake Bell would then take to his Instagram to insinuate that he hadn't done anything wrong. Don't believe the media if these claims were remotely true my situation would be very different i would not be here at home with my wife and uh, and my these son are too despite much finishing by stating Kelly. that he was at home with his wife this relationship would last only one more year as in january 2023 on top of everything that had already happened drake bell announced that he was also getting a divorce Damn. considering he's acted in only two productions since 2020 it's safe to say that drake bell's reputation is pretty much finished although he's not the only nick Nickelodeon actor with a spot in this video mm. as the life of Amanda Bynes has descended into an even Who's worse that? version of hell. Despite having one of the most famous faces throughout the 2000s, Amanda Bynes would announce her retirement from acting in 2010, what, what stating that she? being an actress- Hold on, hold on. Amanda Bynes. I want to see what films she was in. Let's see, let's see. Amanda Bynes. Uh, she was in The Amanda Show, okay. She's a man, okay, easy A, okay. Sydney White, that's what you like, let's see. She was in Robots, okay, I just watched the Robots again. She was in Fast Five? Okay, all that, she was in all that, okay. Family Guy. All Growing Up too. okay. Rugrats, Rugrats, okay. Okay, she was in a lot of stuff. Okay, okay isn't as fun as it may seem. If I don't love something anymore, I stop doing it. I don't love acting anymore, so I've stopped doing it. I know 24 is a young age to retire, but you heard it here first. She'd go on to state that the retirement was because I literally couldn't stand my appearance in Easy A and I didn't like my performance. I was okay. absolutely convinced that I needed to stop acting after seeing it. However, this- If people like, obviously they do TV shows and stuff like that, why don't they just go act in movies? Like, you know, be a voice actor in a movie. That's what I would do. And like, if I was, if someone asked me to be a voice actor in a movie or a show, immediately doing it. This is where things began to go downhill. Obviously, rapidly. depends on the script. In obviously. 2012, two years after retiring, she was charged with driving under the influence and hit and run on two separate occasions. Two years after this, she'd be charged with driving Jesus. under the influence again, with her court so appearance displaying while, a significant physical decline from just two years prior. In the process, Amanda would take to Twitter to call Michelle and Barack Obama. Whoa. That's a crazy, t <laughs> yo, that is insane. What the? Ugly, before stating that she and her Whoa. parents were no longer speaking, which accompanied some absolutely wild accusations about her father, including the statement that he had put a microchip Look at Twitter in her back brain. Then, crazy. After she'd also set fire to a driveway, Amanda was put in a mental hospital, after which her parents were given legal ownership over her $5 million estate, as Damn. Amanda has been spending large amounts of her savings. It has been reported that she's recently made extensive purchases as gifts from jewelry stores, such as Cartier, for strangers. Amanda Bynes was diagnosed Crazy. with bipolar disorder and would attempt to get her life back on track by enrolling in fashion school. However, she was kicked out only 10 months later for showing up high and arguing with her classmates. In 2018, people assumed that she was back to her normal self as Amanda showed up in magazines looking like this. However, uh -huh. within a year, she'd gotten face tattoos what and checked fuck? into Alcoholics Anonymous, where she'd meet her new boyfriend who, according to Amanda, had just as many problems as her. In October 2022, she'd make a another attempt at fixing her life by enrolling in cosmetic school, yet only five Slide. months later in March 2023, she was sent to a mental hospital once again, as she was found roaming the streets of Los Angeles without any clothes on. Then there was Orlando Brown, whose role as Eddie I know Thomas Orlando on Brown. That's So Raven I know, ended I know this scenario. Terrible. Is, is the game still on Fortnite for me? Hold up, we need it. 
Hold up. I think the game missed the one for now, isn't it? I think the game missed the one for now. Yeah, it is. Okay, whoa, sheesh. He said El Mods. What? I know, I know slides here. Slide, slide, slide. Life. Later this After week, the show later this week, end in uh, what's it called? Orlando we doing the, um, to focus on music during which his we doing the uh Ox battle, Ox battle later this week. So I'll be ready to stream later this week. Life was kept fairly private yeah, until he'd you, entered yeah, news yeah, headlines yeah, yeah. approximately nine years later. Between February and March 2016, Brown was arrested on two separate occasions on charges of domestic violence, obstruction of justice, drug possession with the intent to sell, and later possession week, of contraband in jail. In February 2016, cops claimed he struck his then girlfriend uh, in the parking. Let's do let's do Friday. Let's do Friday. So you got to stream on Friday too. Stream on Friday. And we do the ox battle on front of a police station and was found by officers to be in possession of methamphetamine. Orlando was given a notice to appear in court, yet Crazy. he instead flee to Las Vegas, where he was caught by bounty hunters. You left California. It's a felony when you flee. You, what, what are you doing here then, brother? You got a warrant for your arrest. Okay. After which things only became worse. I'm glad to y'all, Gideon do got a, a, a warrant for his arrest too in Houston. I'm not even glad to y'all. A video was released of Orlando being kicked out of a friend's house. Uh, we'll, we'll think about the day of the after day lasting day only a week in rehab, yes, which was followed by his appearance on the Dr. Phil show, during which he'd stated that he'd been sober for four years. What's his eyes? Despite clearly being under the influence on the show. I'm four years sober for a reason. I just now got out of rehab. I just now got out of an ER. I just got out of, I'm not doing no more time away from my kids other than I need you. As a result of this episode, Orlando freak. would return to rehab and get clean before discussing his experience on the No Jumper podcast. I had two year binge of something that I should have never ever indulged in. Meth? Yes. Those situations, man, they, they will never happen again based off of the fact that where I'm trying to go. And while he'd end his statement mm. by stating that those situations will never happen again, they Orlando happen was again. back in the news approximately seven months later in December 2022 after threatening a family member with a hammer. He's currently undertaking a Crazy. psychiatric assessment to see if he's eligible for pleading insanity. Yet the most tragic story of child fame without a doubt comes from Judy the girl Garland, from, um... who played Dorothy Gale yeah. in The Wizard of Oz at the age of 16. Whilst filming the movie, she was prescribed amphetamines to keep up with the production's grueling Dorothy. schedule, as well as barbiturates to help her sleep when the day was finally yeah, that's over. Awful, that's the studio also required Judy to stay incredibly thin, feeding her nothing but soup and lettuce leaves whilst on set. Set, which it ex Dang, so she only eats soup and lettuce? That's kind of crazy. Explain led to a poor self image. By the time The Wizard of Oz was finished, she was being prescribed. I never heard of it either. I didn't even know this was a thing. Grabbed amphetamines from four different doctors beep, 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 to keep beep. her weight down and her mood up, although this lifestyle began to catch up to her. Drugs, getting up late, coming in late to work, and it turned into a nightmare for everybody concerned. She'd be fired from three different movies for intoxication really? and was constantly in the news for being completely broke. Her kids stated that the family couldn't even afford food at times, which accompanied angry slurred messages about Tough. being paid for work. <laughs> These weren't delusions. She was broke when she recorded this, and not movie star down to my last Rolls Royce broke, homeless broke. No money to buy food broke. By the time Judy Garland was in her 40s, she looked about 15 years older, had been divorced five different times, Somebody and was cast? performing in Crazy. a New York bar for $100 per night. While Judy Garland maintained that she had never done anything wrong in her entire life, yeah. the only mistake I ever did, the only harm I ever did was sing over the rainbow. She would die of an overdose at the age of 47 Damn. on the exact same drug that she was prescribed during The Wizard of Oz, with her estate being worth a measly $40,000. Wow. Wow, okay. Wow, Dante reacted to that, so you know that. Yeah, let's just... Wow, okay. That's crazy. This video... Shout out to Sonny. I'm not subscribed to Sonny. I'm for Sonny. I thought I was... Yeah, I just upgraded my status. I put on Dior because I just love fashion. Let's make the play for the pack. He tapping. 